Hello, everybody. It's about that time. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Today's beer comes from Founders Brewing. This is the Redanculus. Uh, now what this is, is a Imperial Red IPA. This comes in at 9.5% and it says here it was bottled on June the 13th of 2017 and today is the 30th of July. So, uh, a little bit over a month old here. This was sent to me by Brad. So, Brad, thanks a bunch. My friend, my brother, I do appreciate you sending it to me. I reviewed this one, guys, back in November of 2015 and thought it was pretty tasty. So, let's see what the 2017 edition brings to the table. Uh, I don't remember if the alcohol, the ABV, was the same as they did on this one. They've done it multiple years now. A lot of times those recipes change a little bit and the alcohol changes and the IBU changes. Everything changes a little bit. Here on the bottle it says it's 90 IBUs. So we got the ABV, the IBUs, and the bottle long day from these guys. Two thumbs up. That's what we want. That's what we need. Uh, these guys are up in, uh, Founders is up in Michigan. The commercial description says, Ridiculous Imperial Red IPA is no frill with bold 9.5 ABV. India Pale Ale it pours a pleasant burnt amber with some sweetness due to the car caramel and roasted barley used in the malt bill. But hops are the true headliner in this elaborate sensory experience. The spicy, piney, tropical complexities of Chinook, Mosaic, and Simcoe hops hit you right away with their dank aroma. And they stick around. Take a sip to have your palate sip simultaneously walked and caressed in all the right places. Combine the hops to take your beer to 90 IBUs. It's, just, it's, it's not just ridiculous, it's ridiculous. So, uh, we, sh we shall see. We shall see uh, if I think it's just as tasty or more tasty than I did when I did it back at the end of 2015. This is a fairly fresh bottle, so let's see what Brad has sent us today. That's all we need to talk about, so let's get the cap off of this bad boy. And it's got a, the cap's a little bit different on this one, so I might have to save this one. And I've had guys ask me, well, you can't see the cap, you show the cap? Yep, can you see the cap? That's what it looks like. I'm not going to get up and bring it up there. So, uh, it is what it is, guys. <clears throat> Into the glass we go. Cuisine is barbecue cheeses of peppery, Monterey, pepper jack, sharp, blue cheddar, your stronger cheeses. Meat is game, grilled meat and salmon. Glass for a snifter, tulip herbicide wine glass. I've got my favorite snifter here today, guys. And it says here can be salad. Very I could always says that if it's uh, an imperial, uh, something above 8%, they say that. But don't do that. You're going to lose your hot profile. It's going to turn into a big multi bomb. Ah, a little over a finger, about a finger and a half of head on that pork. It is a red, red, red. It is a rich red ruby color, mahogany color. I can see light through the bottom part of the glass, the thin part down here, and a little bit through here. So it does look like a filtered beer. Let's get a nose to it. There is some uh, some dankness to the beer. It's not super hoppy, guys. It's not West Coast style to me on the aroma. Definitely not on New England style. To me, it tastes more like a East Coast style. There is a little bit of pine and, and, and maybe some grapefruit in there, but they're very subdued. A hint of some citrusiness in there, but it's, like I said, definitely not a super hot bomb, if you will. Well, let's dive in and see what we got. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Brad.
very pleasant. I mean, that's probably where they were wanting to go with this. It doesn't say West Coast style on the label. That's probably not where they were going in the direction they were going with this. They were probably going something that had a little bit more balance between the hops and the malt. Not super hoppy, not super malty. That's what I'm getting right now. Hints of some caramel and some toffee, maybe a slight hint of some brown sugar. But it seems to be pretty balanced between the hops and the caramely malt. Very pleasant. Alcohol is super well hidden for a nine and a half percent. Tasty beer, guys. If you're looking for a hot bomb, this is not it. If you're looking for a nice imperial red, this is it. More balance between the malt and the hops. Nothing is outstanding more than the other. It's not a malt bomb, it's not a hot bomb. Uh, everything seems to be pretty balanced. But it's right out of the fridge, 40 degrees. Let's let it warm up, let her taste it, and I'll be right back. Alright, guys, I'm back. Been seven up for a while. Excellent lacing is leaving on the glass here. Very tasty beer. Uh, like I said earlier, it's not a hot bomb, it's not a malt bomb. Uh, everything seems to be pretty balanced. Nothing is overpowering anything else. Uh, it's a very tasty beer. Uh, it's something a little different than your typical IPA, uh, but it is kind of dank, what they call it, ridiculous. Uh, but it's not got a super huge hop aroma or taste, and it's not got a big maltiness to it. There is a little bit of maltiness to it, but just got a nice caramel, toppy uh, backbone to it to, to balance that out. It's an enjoyable beer. It is. Uh, I don't know if it's something that I'd want to pick up and drink all the time, but it's a nice change. So, final chug. nice red ale so uh, imperial red ale nine and a half percent on this one I'll call it super well hidden like I said so very tasty beer guys it is uh, and it's got all three bits of information that we want to make an educated purchase IBUs ABV and bottled on date so you know how fresh the beer is you're picking up and buying so big two thumbs up to those guys there founders for doing that uh, a very enjoyable beer. I don't think it's to the 10 category, but I do think it's an A beer, and that's what I'm going to give it A minus on this one. 90 is where I'm going to put this, right at the entry level on the A category. Over to Beer Advocate, they say 92 in the outstanding range. It is pretty tasty. I don't know if I would call it outstanding, but it is pretty tasty. A nice, a nice change up from your super hot forward uh, West Coast style and New England style beers. And over to Untapped, they say it is a 4, which is in their A category also. So, nice beer. It is a nice beer. So, if you've had the 2017 edition of uh, Founders Ridiculous, let me know what you think, guys. And until we meet again, let's go see what's in the fridge.